In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make this kayak appear as if it's spanning across two different photographs. So let's start by loading in our image. And we can do that by going to the File menu and select Open. And then select your image and press Open. Later on, we're going to be making part of this image transparent, so we need to add an alpha channel to it. And so just right click on the layer and then select Add Alpha Channel. And next we need to add a new layer, and we can do that by pressing this button right here. And for the layer fill type, set this to Transparency. And now we're going to create a frame for a photograph. So click on the Rectangle Select tool, and then draw a rectangle. And the size of this rectangle is going to be the size of the photos that we want to make. And then fill the rectangle with the color white. So you can do that by going to the Bucket Fill tool. And then I'll just click on this double arrow here to make white come to the foreground. And then I just click inside the rectangle. And then next I'm going to add a drop shadow to this. So I can do that by going to the Filters menu and select Light and Shadow and drop shadow. And then I'll just accept all of the default values here. And if you'll notice over here, the drop shadow was created on a different layer. So we need to merge these top two layers together. So right click on the top layer and select Merge Down. And now let's make the border of our photograph. So go over to the Select menu and select Shrink and set this to a value of 25 pixels. And then press OK. And then press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete everything inside the selected area. And now we can turn off this selection by going to the Select menu and select None. So this is our first picture border. And we're going to rotate this now. So click on the Rotate tool. And then click on the image. And you can press and hold the mouse button while you're on this image, and that will allow you to rotate it. And this looks good. Then when you're done rotating it, just press the Rotate button. And then next we're going to duplicate this top layer, so make sure that it's selected, and then press on the Duplicate button, which is this button right here. And then select the middle layer, and we're going to rotate this middle layer. So make sure that you have the Rotate tool selected, and then click on the image, and just as we did before, press and hold the mouse button, and you can rotate this, and then press the Rotate button. And next we want to move this picture border to the right, so click on the Move tool, and then put your cursor on top of this frame right here, Press and hold the mouse button and drag this to the right. And then next, select the top layer. And then we're going to move the picture border on this layer. So while we still have the Move tool selected, put your cursor on top of this border and then move this into position. And now select the middle layer and move this border into position. And that looks good. And now come over here and turn off the visibility of the second layer. And you can do that by pressing this little button that looks like an eye. And then select the top layer by clicking on it. And we're going to be erasing some of this top layer now. So you can select the eraser tool. And I'm going to use a brush with a hardness of 0.75. And I'm going to set the size to 50. And then I'll zoom in on my image. And then I'm going to erase this picture border that's on top of the kayak. And then turn the second layer back on again and select it. And then we want to erase some of the picture border that's on this layer.
and then let's zoom back out again so we can go to the view menu and select zoom and fit image and window. And now select the bottom layer and for this I'm going to switch my brush to a hardness 100 and I'm going to set the brush size to 100 pixels. And then I'll start erasing the bottom layer along the edges of the picture borders. And one easy way to do part of this is to just click on a starting point along the border and then release the mouse button. Then hold down the shift key and drag your mouse to an end position and then click and release the mouse button again and that will erase a straight line. And then for areas like this, just press and hold the mouse button and move the eraser up and try to get into the small areas. And then here's a spot again that I can press and release the mouse button and then hold the shift key and then I go to the other end and then click my mouse button again and this erases the straight line. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until I've erased all this background around the outside of these picture borders. Okay, now I've finished erasing. And so next I'm going to add another layer. So I'll click this button right here. And you can set the layer fill type to transparency. And then move this layer to the bottom by pressing on the green down arrow. And then we're going to fill in this layer with a blue color. So click on the foreground color right here. And select a light blue color. And press OK. And then select the bucket fill tool and click on the background area. And then we're going to crop our image. So click on the crop tool and then just draw a rectangular frame around the area that you want to keep. And there's handles on all four corners as well as the top and bottom and left and right. And so then you can grab these handles and also change the size of this. So I'll adjust it to about right there. And then when you're happy with the selection, just press the Enter key on your keyboard. And then let's zoom in on this image. So go to the View menu, select Zoom, and Fit Image in Window. And now we have our completed image. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.